Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of Arcade Basecamp August 2024 third modules, third lab, which is going to be using custom fields in Looker Explorers. Okay, so before starting the solution, I simply want to inform you that I already uploaded the solution of all the previous 10 labs and the previous two modules are completed. So you can access those lab solution by going to the playlist on my YouTube channel. This playlist contains all the lab solutions, the 10 lab solutions. So if you have any lab until now, you can complete it quickly. Kar le. The link of this playlist is in the description box or you can also access this playlist by clicking on the i button of the video on the top right corner. Now quickly jump back to the lab, scroll down, copy, actually open the lab, click on the start lab button. It would be a little different lab because this time we won't be working on the Google Cloud platform and this time we will be working on Looker platform instead of the Google Cloud platform. So first of all, copy the password as the usual and uh, right click upon open Looker and open it in incognito window only. And first of all, we will give the password and the username. So wait for it to log in or uh, yes. So for the email, first come back to here, copy the email first, username. Paste it under here and for the password, copy the password from the password tab. Paste the password and click on the login button and we get login into our Looker dashboard. So Looker dashboard sometimes takes a couple of minutes to log in properly or load properly. So wait for a couple of minutes, wait, wait patiently. Once the data get loaded, we will uh, start the process. Okay. So wait for it to load. So once your dashboard get logged in or load, then simply click on the explore button from the left panel. And from here, select the order items. Once the page get loaded like this, simply go to the order items. Okay, click on this. And from here, go to the order ID. Or, uh, but actually, order items, not the order items, but the inventory items. And click on, hover upon the cost, first of all. Click on these three dots, go to the aggregate and create average function. You, you will see the average of cost function is now created for us. Now for, you will see a, a column of custom fields. So click on this add button and create a custom measure. So for the information of the custom measure, simply come back to the lab. Scroll down to the task number one. Scroll down, keep scrolling. We done this task. We created the average cost function. We are just adding the custom measures. So the field of the measure would be cost. So copy it very carefully. Don't copy any extra spacing or the full stop. And which full stop ever copy nahi karna hai. Come back to here. Paste it here. Yes, cost. Select the cost from the, I guess, from the inventory item. Now the type would be average. It's given in the lab. Yes, the type would be average. And the name would, would be average of cost. So copy it very carefully. Again, don't copy the full stop. Come back to here. Paste it here. Remove it first of all. Paste it here. And for the field details, we will be selecting the US dollars and decimals would be two. Come back to here, select this. Select a field. Let me check one. 